I was taking a little gander at Lockheed Martin's YouTube channel. There is something out there called the International Ellipsoid Reference System. I'll say it again. International Ellipsoid Reference System. Which is dis which discusses flattening. Okay? Flattening. We're all clear that NASA knows what the shape of the Earth is, DARPA knows what the shape of the Earth is, and so does the Executive Administration for the President of the United States. They all agree what the shape of the Earth is. And then I'm going to show you something that Lockheed actually illustrates on with regard to their capabilities on mapping of the Earth. Okay? Stand by. So... What I'd like to show you guys is this. This is the World Geodetic System of 1984, which discusses an ellipsoid. Okay? This is very important. Because these are international reference systems, which are used all around the world. Okay? That's what they are. They're international reference systems. You can find this online at earth-info.nga. Mill. They discuss here the equipotential ellipsoid. Okay, an equipotential ellipsoid or level ellipsoid is an ellipsoid defined to be an equipotential surface. Semi axis is A and B, then enclosed mass. to define which potential parts of the atmosphere were rotating which caused the stars to move, the moon, the sun, so on and so forth. And here's what they said. The first of these theorems to be stated and proved is essentially its present form was the one known today as Gauss's theorem or the divergence theorem. The international terrestrial reference system says the IERS, which is the International Ellipsoid Reference System, is in charge of defining, realizing, and promoting the International Terrestrial Reference System conditions. It is geocentric, its origin being the center mass for the whole Earth, including oceans and atmosphere. You have people out there who say it's a globe, it's a ball. It's not a ball. Okay. It's a flattening ellipsoid. The flat plane surface in the middle. Okay? Flat plane surface. And just to prove that to you is this. Defining the parameters. WGS identifies four defining parameters. These are the semi major axis of the WGS 84 ellipsoid. The flattening factor of the Earth. There shouldn't be any argument there, people. The whole plan is not moving. That's, that's a given. We're fixed. We're on a fixed flat plane. The moon is not creating the tidal waves. 
it's the nominal mean angular velocity of the outer layers that are letting that are allowing the waters to recede and come back on the shore. So I'm going to show you this video from Lockheed Martin's website. I mean, not their website, but their YouTube channel. And the name of this video is called Building Amazing. And I want you to listen to what she says with regard to mapping and the image she actually shows. We have been imaging. So she says Lockheed Martin has been imaging. 